Well, let's bring you back to the U.S. and to our local gangster, Donald Trump. Things like reportedly debating whether or not to invade Mexico, threatening BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa with 100% tariffs if they don't commit to trading in okay. dollars and not their own okay. currencies. I don't want to be bringing back waterboarding. I don't want to be a country that tortures people, especially if we're the kind of country that's going to be using the military against our own citizens. Well, wait, this what kind that, of thing concerns me. Wave God. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. Follow that ID page, man. Let's get straight to it. All right, guys, we're back again with another one from Joy Reid, you know, the famous host from MSNBC, man. The lady who's just riddled with tds trump derangement syndrome she can't get over it guys and i can't believe i actually lived in a country this is the beautiful you know thing about america i can't believe i live in a country where i gotta wake up every day turn on the news and look at faces like joy reed and everybody on cnn sitting up here trying to scare me out of my boots every single day man y'all got americans leaving the country People probably trying to out here commit suicide all because of people like this lady, Joy Reid, sitting up on television, fear mongering, um, just putting her own spin and narrative on every single little thing the president elect does or is about to do or is thinking about doing or even that she think he about to do. It's like, when is it going to stop? When is it going to end, man? We've been dealing with this. Not even we, guys. Trump been dealing with this since 2016 like it's 2024 about to be 2025 at this point the people chose this president joy reed if you don't freaking like it how about you just i don't know go run for office go move to a different country go do something but how can msnbc sit up here and platform this lady in her hateful rhetoric and speech every single day of the week it's just like, Jesus Christ, she's the most outrageous one out of The View, Sonny Halston, out of all the, like, crazy people on CNN that Scott Jennings got to go head to head with every day. It's just like, Jesus Christ, like, will these people ever just shut the freak up and quit complaining about every little thing? The man hasn't even taken office yet. Can y'all give the man a, a chance? to do his freaking job, man. That's all I'm saying. Now we're gonna get a reaction to Joy Reid absolutely melting down, you know what I'm saying? Telling telling us that Trump is acting like a gangster. He think he's the world boss. Uh, You know what I'm saying? Just saying all kind of stupid shit. It's like, lady, you live in the fucking America. You live in America. Like we literally think we are the boss of the whole fucking world. That's why we go around trying to push our goddamn narratives and democracy on every other country. So it's like, like this man said on this tweet right here. I like how he put it. He said, Trump much better than Biden who act like everybody's bitch. So it's just like, man, can we just stop the disrespect for the future president, man? That's why the fucking rest of the world was laughing at the Biden administration. Let's get into this video, man. Hit that like button and hit that sub button. All right, guys, so this is from a page, ALX. This is how, uh, or he quoted Joy Reid. This is how Trump operates on the world stage. He act like he's everybody's boss, like he's the king of the world. She says this uh, like it's a bad thing, much better than Biden, who acts like he's everybody's bitch. And also, in Wokeness posted this, ha, 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 Joy Reid is melting down over Trump, joking about annexing Canada and threatening Hamas. And this is like... Joy Reid, I'm starting to think she does this on purpose, like, just for the controversy, because there's no way she wakes up every day and read opinions about her and just think she should keep continuing to go down the same stupid, ridiculous path, man. But let's get it. A global trend of the far right surging. It isn't just happening here. But let's bring you back to the U.S. and to our local gangster, Donald Trump. <sighs> He's not even president yet, and he's already spending his time M sitting in MSNBC in is sitting up here allowing her to call the president-elect a gangster. Golden Palace, Mar-a-Lago, muscling other countries like he's wow. Tony Soprano with a social media site. Doing things like reportedly debating whether or not to invade Mexico. Threatening BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, with 100% tariffs if they don't commit to trading okay. in dollars and not their own okay. currencies. Demanding Hamas release all hostages being held in Gaza before his inauguration, or there will be, quote, all hell to pay in the Middle East. 
First of all, Team Trump debates how much should we invade Mexico, guys. <laughs> now, I guarantee if we get to the bottom of that, they never was talking about invading Mexico. But as far as putting tariffs in, on people if they not using the American dollar and him fucking threatening Hamas, a terrorist organization, if they don't release house, Like, how is this a bad thing, Joy Reid? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Joy Reid hates this man so much and has so much derangement syndrome that she's taking good things. And making the shit bad. She is a fucking radical. Even reportedly threatening Canada. According to Fox, when Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau went to Mar-a-Lago this weekend to try to talk Trump out of his 25% tariff threat, Trump apparently suggested that if Canada can't handle the tariffs that would violate the NAFTA upgrade Trump himself signed into law, the USMCA, they should just become the 51st state. Damn right. Just become the 51st state instead and allow <laughs> yeah. Trudeau to be reduced to governor How of the state it? of Canada, which caused the prime minister and others to laugh nervously. Laugh. Y'all know goddamn well that was a joke, man. That's what I'm saying. Y'all take every little... That's why the Democratic Party has no traction, has no goddamn legs underneath it, because... They take every little situation and try to go woke on the shit. Or, or, or he joked about annexing Canada as the 51st state. That's not funny. It is fucking hilarious. How about that? How about I'm sitting here talking to Justin Trudeau, you know, the prime minister of Canada who wants to talk shit about Trump, knowing that he going to get reelected. He finally got reelected. Trump got on his ass. Now he at Mar-a-Lago begging for fucking forgiveness. And Trump going to throw it in his face. You goddamn right, boy. If you can't handle the goddamn taxes, how about we just make Canada a part of America? How would you like that? How would you like that? Because I heard all those things you were saying about me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, they don't like when the shoe is on the other foot. And while some are writing that off as just a joke, just a few hours ago, Trump posted this obviously AI photo of him standing on a mountaintop next to the Canadian flag, looking off into the distance with the caption, Oh Canada. And for the record, he appears to be looking at the Matterhorn, which is on the border between Switzerland and Italy, not Canada. Oh, well, let's not forget, this is the same Donald Trump. Who cares? You just said yourself it's an AI-generated photo, bitch. He didn't make the photo. Who at one point seriously wanted to buy the nation of Greenland, even possibly trade it for Puerto Rico. I wonder what this guy has against Puerto Rico. I'll just keep noodling on it. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Bottom line, this is how Trump operates on the world stage. He I'm sure you're going to lose your fucking job, Joy Reid. I'm sure you're going to lose your fucking job. I feel like somebody need to start a petition to remove this lady. It's like he's everybody's boss. Like he's the king of the world. Oh, oh, I thought that's that was the whole... A uh, way that the United States of America operated. I thought we were the law of the land. I thought we were the world's authority. This bitch here is, Which is this bitch is unhinged. Bad news for basically everybody, unless your name is Vladimir Putin, the boss to Trump's underboss. The what? Like what? Y'all allowing her to sit up here on NBC and say this shit, bro? No wonder this channel is getting sold by NBC. The question now is, will any other leader stand up to him? And who? Who becomes the leader of the free world when Donald Trump ends Pax Americana as we know it? As Nicholas Grossman writes for The Bulwark, there is no undoing damage in history. It is up to those with power and influence. You know what? And there's no goddamn undoing damage to Biden's reputation. Who's about to go down as one of the worst hit presidents? In freaking history, guys. Now let's go over here to CNN because we know MSNBC and CNN, man. They like they like you know birds of a feather flock together. But our favorite goddamn white boys over there, Scott Jennings, just over there cooking up shit, hibachi grilling shit. As you can see, man, leading report, my favorite goddamn page on X says breaking. CNN panelist insinuates that Trump will deploy the military to shoot american citizens guys and it's the type of shit they letting them sit up here and spread this type of shit they let them sit up here and spread man now let's see what my boy scott had to say 
tourists. I don't want to be bringing back waterboarding. I don't want to be a country that tortures people, especially if we're the kind of country that's going to be using the military against our own citizens. Well, wait, this kind that, of thing concerns me. What do you mean use against our own citizens? I'm talking about... So you insinuating that we're going to waterboard and torture our own citizens? Thank you, Scott. Call it out. Call it out on the spot. And blue states behave. What do, you, what do you mean? What are you talking about? I'm talking about sending uh, the military into blue states to make them behave. What, what getting Gavin Newsom under control, getting J.P. Pritzker under control. What, what are you making talking sure about? What are you talking about? Like sending him to the Donald state capital to, to, to commandeer the state government? I, I mean, well, I hope not, but I mean, I'm definitely, you know he's definitely Trump talked about that. Trump I don't know why you're acting like you've never heard of it. This bitch can't even come up. Look, and this black lady, I like her, I really do, guys. I like her, I really do. But I just always feel like she's on the goddamn wrong side of the podium. Like, what's wrong with her? Like, come on, lady. Military to, to suppress, in the Black Lives Matter era, those yes. protests in the street. He... He that, there that's himself. actually, I just make sure I understand. Lady, we talking about using the damn National Guard to stop those motherfuckers from vandalizing those businesses on the streets. What are we talking about? And this smooth face ass, bald head ass nigga, this nigga has no wrinkle in his goddamn head. Why the fuck is his head as smooth as his whole goddamn face? Something about that shit just don't look right, man. It's too much makeup on. This man has on fucking makeup. I understand your position, that you believe <laughs> Donald Trump is going to use the military to set up effectively like coups in state camps? capitals of states Scott, that he didn't I, win. I think you're taking it a step or two. No, she said no, maybe. no, no, bitch. She just said that. Blue states behave, and she also said round up immigrants. That's not true. Well, it's Trump. deport illegal immigrants. Scott, like, I, think you're Scott, illegal I don't person. know why you're <laughs> acting. No. Oh, okay. Let's, well, I'm well, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I, I mean, look. Oh, oh, she got an attitude, guys. Now, you see, they like to just go ahead and talk and talk and say the most, you know, crazy ass things that they can possibly say without saying, you know, the most extreme shit. But they say the most possible closest crazy shit. Like Trump's gonna set up military in blue states and round up eat round up immigrants. Like what, Scott? Like what the fuck are you talking about, lady? She can't even. She got mad just because the black lady is like, "Hold on, lady. Hold on. What the fuck? Wait. What did you say?" Hey, and she also said round up immigrants. That's not true. Well, it's Scott, deport illegal immigrants. Scott, like, I, think Scott, Scott, I don't know why you're acting. No. And oh, okay. well, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I, I mean, look, Ooh. let's I think you're right. Let's be precise. Trump has wanted to use the military to uh, do things domestically that the, actually the military is not allowed to do. I think that's the point that she's making. Like what? Like what? Like deport illegal immigrants. That is actually not a, a function of the, the military. The, 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 Wow, guys. So they trying to equate <laughs> deporting illegal. First of all, she said he was going to use the military on the citizens. Military can absolutely be used to work with local officials yep. to Tell provide him, military resources, but working him, with other parts of the federal government and local officials. We already send the but National Guard to the border. you're not against the will of the local officials or the will oh, of the state government. Oh, yes. We have a federalist you, you know, government yes, we here. Can. The military is not supposed to take up arms against American citizens. Period. They're not. You keep and saying so, that. This is about illegal immigration. You all keep saying American citizens. Well, well how do we know? Yeah, well, well, you see that, guys? They hate putting the word illegal in front of immigrants. I noticed that. They even say migrants. They don't say illegal migrants. They just say immigrants like these. And then now they just blatantly saying them, using them against American citizens. We talking about to help the goddamn immigration crisis and help the border crisis. Obviously, the local law enforcement going to need some help. We did not. You just not. said he well, wasn't. When you, when we, we know we, after they're shot. We have 1.6. We know million, after they die. We have 1.6 million people in this country Scott, who you're already received deportation orders the from point. courts. They are Hold here on. illegally. No, it's, all, it's always back to illegal immigration with with people who support Donald Trump. It's always yes. back to illegal immigration. People but that's not. It. That's not the only thing that we're talking about here. We're talking about the American people. We're talking about taking up arms against them no. with a military that's no. supposed to be protecting them. Th this is not right. We, we, this you, is crazy. You cannot say Donald Trump is sending the military to we round didn't up. Say that's what he said. said. That is what he's saying, he said. That's not what when I'm saying. When did he say totally that? False. He said that. Totally false. That's what he said. Scott. 
<laughs> so these motherfuckers sit up here and lie all day, guys. You guys can see it. Trump, we Trump are in the has, fever swamps, Andy. I'm sorry. What is, what is your dispute here? I'm not even really Because they're saying because... that the, he's sending the military to shoot or and or round up American citizens. Not We did true. not say shoot no, I, I think people. the issue, Scott, the issue Scott, you said take, he just I said, said take I, up I, arms. I said he, Scott, why are you acting like Trump? Look, I, mean, I did it's say it's take it's up it's arms hold because when you send the army in, that's what they're that's what they're there for. And exactly, man. As you can see, you can't fucking argue. I don't know how Scott gets up and goes to work every day on CNN, guys. How can you argue with a bunch of people that sit there and lie as their argument? Like, and then they try to gaslight you when you throw facts out there, guys. It's just, it's getting ridiculous, man. CNN need a whole reboot. MSNBC need to be off the air joy reed you need to lose everything you need to be you need to be held responsible for some of the shit that you say on that show i'm not even gonna lie man let me know what y'all think in the comments down below big wave got married this your boy ted hit that like button hit that sub button until next time we out of here